Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Happy holidays and the best of the season to you from Green Energy Futures. We're celebrating 10 years of inspiring stories about people and projects in the green energy industry. Our YouTube channel will hit 5 million views by the end of the year. Poorly understood by the mainstream media and unbeknown to most, this year marks the tipping point for clean energy. Solar and wind power are now the cheapest new sources of electricity that money can buy. Even during the COVID pandemic, solar is booming. So during COVID, um, a couple of PPAs were announced, uh, power purchase agreements, for solar and battery, and they were at between one and two cents a kilowatt hour. That's Irish multimillionaire Norman Crowley, who's totally invested in the renewable energy economy with his Cool Planet group of companies. Indeed, trillions of dollars of global investment is moving hard and fast into clean technologies. And we're starting to see this in Canada. The investment grew from $21 billion in 2010 to $35.3 billion in 2017. So that's an increase of almost 70%. But its contribution to GDP is also impressive. So it grew by 4.8% between 2010 and 2017. And if you compare that to the rest of the Canadian economy, it only grew by 3.6% over that same time frame. That's Marin Smith with Clean Energy Canada. Solar projects are now being built with no subsidies. Bryce Bernhard knows this. He owns Alberta Screw Piles Limited, and he's just wrapping up a contract to install 53,000 screw piles that will support 477,000 solar modules at the Clare Home Solar Project, the largest in Canadian history. Well, we started off again at that 25 you know, 25 guys, and we, we went over 60 guys on site during the peak of remediation uh, and installation to deal with the rock. So we went up to over 25 excavators, a uh, dozen skid steers and loaders, and uh, yeah, over 60 guys on site for Alberta screw piles alone. Farouk Vishram is an Alberta engineer who designed the control systems for coal and gas power plants in Alberta. He pivoted to solar in 2014 and is now working on a dozen solar projects in Alberta, Ontario, and around the world. It reached great parity, I would say, maybe two years ago, where solar could compete with its nearest rival, which at that time I think was a natural gas. And this is without subsidy. So solar can now compete without subsidy and it's getting very, very popular, not only in Alberta, but all over the world. The solar project Bryce Bernhard is working on won't be the largest for long. Greengate Power has started work on a solar project in Vulcan, Alberta, that is four times larger. Yeah, so uh, the Traverse Solar Project's in Vulcan County, uh, Alberta. It's only a, a few kilometers north of the largest wind energy project in the country, which we also uh, developed. Uh, you know, to put that project uh, into perspective, the Traverse Solar Project, it'll consist of about 1.5 million solar panels spread over 5,000 acres of land. Um, it's uh, about a half a billion dollar uh, project and will provide a clean source of power to more than 100,000 Alberta homes. Dan Balaban is a former oil and gas guy, and he's weary of the polarization between clean and conventional energies. He says things are evolving, and that our future prosperity depends on us investing in Alberta's great renewable energy resource while respecting conventional energy at the same time. Best of the season to you and yours. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. David Dodge.